In this lesson, we're going to go through the steps of mounting up the optimizers actually up onto their rails. So let's get started. So what we want to do is begin by making marks and measurements along the roof. You're told to drag a tape measure out and measure out to 1 foot 8 inches or about 20 inches and stop and make a mark right there. The idea is that our modules, if we look at the eye, always look at the eye for the information of the step, and it says you want to make marks where the centers of your solar modules are going to be. You begin with measuring half the width of a module, and our modules are typical about roughly 40 inches wide, so a half a module is 20 inches wide. So we make our first measurement from the edge of the glass, which is the mark that we made in previous steps right here, the array footprint. We want to measure in half a module width, so that's 20 inches. Now we continue. Now we're actually putting up full modules here. So we're going to measure out 40 inches across, which is 3 feet 4 inches. Put it there and make a mark. And so now we've gone in and made another mark there. The idea is that having measured in half a module here, now we're going to measure module, module, module. We're going to keep measuring out that full distance. And the idea is that we've already gone ahead, made the other marks for you to measure out the full distance of all um, eight of them on that roof. And then we would repeat the same markings down here at the bottom for the rail uh, number three. That would be the second row of modules as well. And so now we're going to begin mounting up the optimizers. We begin by putting in eight bolts and sliding them into the rails. These are the upside down bolts that we're going to use to fasten the uh, optimizers on. We just say that we already slide those in for you. So now let's get down to it. Align the first bolt with your first marking. Remember, there was our marking. We've got a bolt. Line it out. We give you a nice target for it. Bring it out there. Slide it in and put it in place. And so now you've got your bolt ready to go for your mounting. And we do it for you. We slide the other seven and align those up for you. Now, you want to put down a star washer. So click on that. Load down a star washer on top of that bolt. And then you're going to want to place your optimizer on top of it. It's got typically some sort of groove structure. We place that right down so that that optimizer gets mounted right on top of that bolt. Then you want to place down a flat washer on top of that and a lock washer on top of that and then finally the nut on top of that and then you'd use a uh, torque wrench click on it to tighten it to manufacturer specs in this case 80 inch pounds to make that a proper torquing down of that nut you want that properly torqued so that it's not loose and going to come loose and fall apart and not too tight so it's going to strip the bolt that's really it You've successfully mounted that optimizer, and the other optimizers will be mounted up for you. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.